the Surangama Sutra, in Part 10. Fifty demonic states of mind, dangers may arise with advanced practice. As the Buddha's teaching nears its end, the Buddha says that, though you have been taught the right method for practice, you still need instruction, for there are subtle demonic events that can occur when you undertake the practice of calming the mind and contemplative insight. If you don't recognize when demonic states arise, you will fall into the air of wrong views. The Buddha then explains at length that different demonic states occur at different stages of the Bodhisattva path, how to recognize them and defend yourself against them, and what the consequences are if you do not. He describes fifty demonic states as examples, which he organizes into ten demonic states of mind, each for the aggregates of form, sensation, perception, cognition, mental formations, and consciousness. He then explains that the five aggregates arise from the deluded activities of the mind. The sutra ends with the Buddha stressing the supreme importance of the Surangama Samadhi and of the merit one gains from teaching and practice to others. He adds that these are his final instructions. The great assembly bows in reverence and departs. And thus ends what is said to be, because dimly recognized in the West, one of the world's religious masterpieces. <laughs>